In this video, I'm gonna try and stay awake while I talk about these. What is up everybody and welcome to A6HQ, no it's not. Oh dear, this is gonna be short and painful. Right. right, okay, so you're gonna to say to yourself, why is he doing a video about a shoe that he clearly doesn't like? Just wait a second, right? Wait until the end of the video, right? But I do struggle with A6 shoes of a, of a stability nature because unlike what they've done with like the Nimbus um, and they've done with like the racing shoes, the stability shoes from Asics are still extremely boring and just as dull as you could possibly get. That said, a lot of people do rely on them and do like them and that's why we get them on the channel to review. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do um, on occasion wear a stability shoe. Uh, I've got pronation issues on my left leg. I've been checked, seen the video. Um, so I'm able to, I feel, talk about stability shoes because I do wear stability shoes every now and then. So this is the GT2000 version 11. This is the sort of milder stability shoe from Asics. It's, it sits under the Kayano. Um, and it's had a it's had a bit of a, a makeover, let's call it. It's mainly been um, given a makeover by adding the flight foam blast. Now the shoe's 145 pounds, it's got an 8mm drop, it's got dual density actually. I mentioned the flight foam blast, but we've got two layers of foam. We've got the flight foam blast, can you see? Yeah, it should come out quite easy. You've got the white and then you've got the grey, which is um, a different harder compound uh, which forms the light truss system which is where you get your stability from we've got gel in the heel uh we've got a jacquard mesh up a fits true to size uh did, 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 what else do you need to know oh we've got a hard plus uh rubber outsole and that's probably about i think it's an eight mil drop from memory now the support in the shoe is is mild um if you see with the light truss system so you've got this firmer compound but you've also got the rubber built out as well on the medial side to help you in terms of the stability um the overall feel of the shoe is like a, you've got like a rubber ring around your heel. Does that make any sense? So it's sort of aiding you out. Uh, it's not exactly like bowling lanes. You, you sort of sit in it and you, you sort of, you know, imagine a rubber ring on holiday and you sit in it on the pole. That's like your foot. It's sort of sitting in this like ring and it's sort of protecting you to move around. Does that make any sense? So it's not an over intrusive um, stability mechanism. Uh, they've definitely worked on it at ASICS to improve the feel of the stability element of the shoe because where they used to be all plasticky and you really felt the technology. It's a, it's a light touch approach to the stability. Uh, we've got great coverage with the rubber outsole providing great traction, especially down the canal and toe paths uh, where I've been running them. And the, uh, the jacquard mesh up is breathable. It's definitely thinner uh, and uh, not as thick as the uh, Kayano upper, I would say. Um, and that's probably about it in terms of stats and features as again i'm trying really hard not to fall asleep so the shoe has been improved the, the previous version that i had of this was very very firm it's definitely softened up with the introduction of the flight foam blast um, there's no doubt about that um, the overall feel of the shoe still feels the same in terms of the support which is good uh, but the ride has definitely been improved with the flight foam blast which is great news for you stability shoe Whereas, now the issue I have is that apart from the fact that it's really, really boring, I think £145 is okay in terms of price. It's just, I just feel again that I'd rather send you to the Sockany Tempest. And that's the issue with the shoe. The Sockany Tempest has kind of moved the gates a little bit in terms of mild stability shoes. I get it if it's like hard stability, there's, there's limit, limitations in which they can do in terms of manufacturers unless somebody has a really awesome idea how they can improve it. But... Um, with mild stability, you, you just got to spend your money on the Sockany Tempest. It's a, it's a much better ride. It's a much better feeling shoe. It looks better as well. But overall, it just it, it's just a lot more going on there that will make you feel yeah, just a little bit more awesome. You won't feel as like you're hitting just like the concrete underneath you. And even though the Flight Phone Blast addition to the shoe is is a much is is a big positive. It just doesn't really improve the ride that much to, to warrant you spending £145 on it when you can buy the Sockany Tempest. And that's the thing. I think ASICs have come on like probably more than any other brand. You only need to look at the Nimbus 25 and, and, and the change in direction of that shoe. It is phenomenal the way they've switched that up. And I hope that they do that now with the stability shoes because these stability shoes... To be perfectly honest with you, are boring, dull, 
and, and just imaginative. They've just got nothing to them, no secret sauce. Yes, they do the job, but, you know, why not? Why would you just not buy the Saucony Tempers for mild support, okay? Now, I appreciate the Saucony Tempers does, um, the arch in that shoe has affected some people, so it's not the gold, it's not like the holy grail of mild stability shoe people, yeah, okay? So, I, I get that, but, I think this this shoe is just a little bit dated. Well, it's not a little bit. It's very dated, and I'm a little bit disappointed that Asics didn't find a better solution and, and make this more awesome. They could have done a, a much better job here um, in terms of bringing it into 2023. That's probably a better way of saying it. So there we go. Uh, a bit damning, but it's it's still um, a good shoe if you want the you know the GT 2000 and what it gives you. Uh, the uh, addition of the flight foam blast plus um, flight foam blast is a plus. Careful with my words, um, and it will do everything that you want from the previous version. But you're probably still on version nine because they would like last for about two thousand years. So, do you need to get the, this version? Probably not yet. Wait till it gets reduced down. Okay, right, that's it. Don't know whether I helped or not, but I managed to stay awake, people, which is awesome news for you. I'll catch you later.